Okay, so here's the penta tube, um, and I'm going to go into the uh, penta side of it, and I want to look for, uh, they have all kinds of tubes, uh, RF heating, other stuff, plasma, uh, I'm going to do the amateur radio, ham radio products. And they really have a, a great line of stuff. Um, A11As, which I hope to test a few of those. Uh, these have about 65 watts of plate dissipation. The 3500Zs, and here's what I did order, um, a matched pair. And the reason for that is uh, they will go ahead and match the two tubes. It's not critical, but um, it's nice to have them idling at the same the same plate plate current uh, requiring the same amount of bias because they're tied together so this is um, a good way to get there uh, I'll bring up another picture here in just a minute now let's talk about this um, and let's just round that off to 600 bucks for a pair of tubes while that is expensive that's a lot of power for six hundred dollars and also if you treat these tubes right they will last for 30 years as long as you keep the grid current at the right level. And by that, I mean a little bit less than max. And we'll talk about that when I put in the new tubes that um, um, will go in the amplifier today. They're going to go into Drake L4B. Um, they have a large supply of tubes. So I've got 811As, 46, 800s. Now you can see this is an 800 watt plate dissipation tube, a tetrode, um, but it's a $1,200, which makes the 3500Z really a bargain. 811As, um, let's go over to the next page. Um, we'll go back a page. If you have an amplifier that needs uh, four 811As, um, they will match them for you, which takes a bit of time. They've got to heat them up, uh, and $210, uh, 65 watts of plate dissipation per tube, so that's what, uh, about 260 watts of plate dissipation. So these four tubes are about half the uh, plate dissipation of a single 3500Z. So this is the data sheet from uh, Penta, uh, Penta Labs, and... This has got some important stuff on it, so let's take a quick look at it. I won't go into great detail, but uh, note that the filament on the tube is 5 volts at 15 amps, which means any kind of resistance either in the socket or the wiring to the socket can affect the, uh, the filament voltage. And really that filament voltage needs to be right on 5 volts. Uh, it probably is in your amp, but it's worth knowing that. Um, some of this I'm going to skip over. Basically, there's some parts that I think could be worded better. Let's get down to uh, the important stuff. And if you have a, an amplifier that's running 3500Zs, its plate voltage is probably somewhere in this neighborhood between 2500 and 3500 volts. Now, these are lethal voltages, so I'm going to say that over and over again. You've got to be very careful when working around these kinds of voltages. The two basically can operate with zero bias uh, at 2500 volts and below, but it starts to suffer just a bit, and then it requires a little bit more drive, and it's not quite as efficient. At 3,500 volts, a uh, zener can supply or a string of diodes. Uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 volts can be a, a little less. Um, and let's look at some really important numbers. I'm going to skip the two-tone part because most of us don't have, I, I happen to have one, but most of us don't have a two-tone signal generator. So let's just look at single tone. And this is per tube. If your amp has two tubes, the numbers will be either double or half, depending on what we're looking at. So single tone plate current CW, 400 mils. Single tone grid current, 120 
down to 108 depending on the voltage. And these are numbers that you need to keep in mind. So if you have two tubes, the uh, single tone grid current is somewhere in the neighborhood of 240 mils to 220 or so. And you don't want to exceed that because if you do, it will damage the tube in, sh in literally in weeks. Um, single tone power input at 2,500 volts, 400 milliamps is one kilowatt. 400 milliamps times 3,400 volts is 1,400 watts. So the efficiency uh, ends up being about 60 to 64% efficient. You can see here that the output at that point with a kilowatt in is 600 watts or about 60% efficiency. Here the efficiency works out to about uh, 63 or 64 percent. So 1400 watts in, um, about 900 watts out. So a pair of tubes can run 2800 watts input and have an output of about uh, 1800 watts. Okay, so that's my Drake L4B. It's completely removed.